What's going on, y'all? So we sold almost all of our belongings and moved to Hawaii. Because why not? If you've never flown with children, how can I explain this process to you? It's, it's sort of like slamming your genitals in your car door, and then that car rolls down a really long hill that takes about 18 hours to get to the bottom of. It's sort of like that. So I thought I would look at some of these Instagram or Facebook people traveling with children. It's all perfect. They got everything squared away. So let's compare what some of these women did to travel with their families as opposed to what I did. Okay, so first off. My next hack is take food out of its containers to save space. You don't want to bring all these giant bags full of air and it just, there's no room in your yeah and listen guys we all have this problem where we have these giant bags that fill with air so why not get your dad's fishing tackle box dump all of his lures out and then you could put like four or five crackers per square you don't want the bag that can hold 500 crackers you want the square that can only hold 17 goldfish four ritz crackers or two pieces of kit kat I mean, let's be honest. All right, I'm trying to pack this Lego. One Lego. Guys, if your Lego is taking up this much room, that's absurd. A tackle box for fish. It's gonna save room because look, how am I supposed to get this in here? I literally can't get it in here. You know why? Because I don't have this in a tackle box. If you don't believe me, that's all. But air takes up room. That's why this room, I can't fit very much furniture. Because the room's full of air. And air takes up space, as we know. Otherwise, we'd have buildings all over the world, but there's too much air, so we can't fit all the buildings. Obviously. Now let's face it, the second you set foot on that plane, people are already thinking that your baby's going to be bad, and they're just judging you for just being a mom. But I'm here to help you prove those... Has anyone else experienced this before? <laughs> Where a beautiful woman gets on a plane, you're like, okay, and then you see the disgusting child. You're a mom? Mm. This happens all the time. If you're a dad, it's totally fine. You know, you get on the plane like, oh my god, you're a dad. Well done, sir. Well done. Um, but when a mom gets on a plane, usually she's greeted with disgust and judgment. Obviously, because that's how people are, apparently. Buy snacks, okay? Snacks literally occupy time <laughs> and give you peace of mind. All right, listen, I'm all about these hacks, okay? But I don't think you can say buy snacks and that count as a hack. That's just going grocery shopping. That's not a hack. A hack is like, use a rubber band and, you know, string two of your toes together. This will stop toe cramps. That's like a hack. Feed your children and they won't be hungry. Me, not a hack. All right, make a snack box for the win. You guys, mama was a hero on the plane. People were even walking by and asking. Okay, so a snack box for the win is basically going to be you have your regular loser snack boxes like these ones, but for the win are going to be the much larger um, snack boxes because those ones are for the win. Now, why would you not just make only snack boxes for the win? Well, because you want, you want to build people up, you know. The whole movie can't be the climax, right? you got to get to that point. I understand what she's doing here. Give the littler kids sucky boxes and then people are like oh that's kind of neat and then you whoop out your box that holds at least eight crackers a square not like this little petty four crackers a square yours holds eight crackers a square i love it all right so this next one is what to pack for your kids and their carry-on and hey i could have used this one i think i did almost the same thing so we're going to check it out and see exactly but i'm pretty sure we are taking seven children on a plane for the first time all right 
I just want to say this like right off the bat. Seven? Seven children? Dude, here's what I would be doing. I would either be mailing myself FedEx or mailing at least five of those children FedEx to my destination. Okay? I would rather sit in an envelope, a human-sized envelope, for, you know, three weeks than travel with seven children. Our children have a very wide age gap, so we have two-year-old twins. So I'm thinking this age gap, you know, I'm not a scientist, but I think it has to do with having seven kids. Hey, I'm not judging, okay? I'm just saying it's Mormon level kids. I do want to preface this by saying, I'm just going to say this now. You can hate on me if you want to, but we did throw a Hail Mary. We are definitely utilizing electronics um, because this is our first time taking all seven kids through the airport on an air. Really? Electronics? For children? Ugh. Are we serious? Guess we don't love our kids anymore. Just gonna let them, what? Watch television? <laughs> Disgusting. Why not get them a whittling kit for the airplane? Or a calligraphy set? Perhaps a four gallon bucket of blocks for them to build in the aisle. Who would let their kids use electronics? And if that's the Hail Mary, I would really like to know the three plays that were run up to Hail Mary. Hey, honey, so a uh, bag of sticks? No? All right. Second down and long. What are we going to do here? Hmm. Oh, I know. I know. Here we go. What if we give them each a rock to throw at each other? Okay, all right. Third down. What are we going to do? I don't know. Let's just go for the Hail Mary. Electronics. <laughs> Good call. Hopefully we will learn from this trip and be able to apply that to the next trip and not feel like we need to rely so heavily on electronics. Look, you are going to learn from this trip. And what you're going to learn is don't go on trips with seven kids. <laughs> okay, so let's just start over here. The kids. So pretty much in each of their backpacks, they've got things like a Z-Bar, some Cheez-Its, some Scooby-Doo. So that's part of what will be in her bag with some snacks. We also got all the kids just stainless steel water bottles. This is my five-year-old son's bag, and this is my seven-year-old. Okay, so we went ahead and got our kids' stuff ready, and I went and bought this backpack. It cost $3. Um, got it at Goodwill. And just some things for them to take with them. Um, one jar of peanut butter. I mean, it's not all the way full because, you know, we have a lot of people in this family. Um, some partially drink sodas. So four sodas. So that should be enough to get through the ride. Um popcorn it does have to be popped but they should have a microwave or a stove on the plane so that shouldn't be a problem uh taco shells because of course um some milk because everyone's going to be thirsty drink the milk first it's good for their bones they'll be stronger if the plane crashes their bones might not break um we got some orange juice four bagels coffee creamer this is a must because everyone knows Planes serve terrible coffee, and I recommend coconut because, be, just because. You're gonna need at least one of these. It's a long um, circular wiener, and it's, just bring that also. Uh, mayonnaise, must. This is vitamins, this is for your immune system. Three full cloves of garlic, okay? If you start getting sick on the plane, you just pop in three of these, chew them up, I mean, as someone who sells essential oils, they'll know. The last few things, Cholua hot sauce, um, a mixing spoon, and a large knife. So, I mean, I think you can see here uh, how similar my setup is to hers. So I think she was really on the right track. Um, she was really on the right track. All right, guys, that is it. Just as a bonus, though, I'm going to give you guys a couple hacks that you can use with your kids. So if your kid is cold at night, okay, what I recommend you do is cover them with a blanket. A blanket is something you can get at um, a store. Also, inversely, 
What if your kid's hot? Ooh. Never gonna believe this one. Fan. Fan. 